The dead stop push-up is similar to a regular push-up, but instead of going down and coming right back up, we're gonna go down all the way to the floor, rest on the floor for a second, and then come up all the way from the floor. So this will require a little bit more shoulder mobility. If this causes any pain in your shoulders, I don't want you to do it. I want you to go back to a regular push-up. But let me show you what this could look like from a full push-up position. Come up into our plank, straighten your legs, squeeze your glutes, brace your core, draw your shoulders down, press into the floor with your hands right below your shoulders and tuck your chin. Inhale as you lower down, just like you normally would for a push-up, but instead of coming back up, we come all the way down to the floor. Raise your hands briefly, lower them down right below your shoulders where they were, and from here, this part's really important. Brace your core and exhale. <sighs> Press up your body as one unit, not, <laughs> right? So you could do that from a full push-up position. You could also do half modified, lower down from your feet, lower to the floor, and now drop your knees, press up. You could also do this entirely on your knees. Start from your knees, lower down to the floor, and press up. The most important thing with this is that we are pressing up as one unit from our head all the way down to our feet or to our knees. So we are making sure to squeeze our glutes, brace our core, and lift up strong and powerfully versus lifting up and going like this. Now, as a last option, if you're really struggling to really press up as that one unit, you can always come down, whether it's on your feet or your knees, lower to the floor and then drive your hips back and then come up to that starting position.